What's happening, guys? Welcome back to the channel. On this segment, we're going to quickly go over Sean Strickland versus Paulo Costa. Now, it looks like this fight is going to go down. Should be a good scrap. Uh, Sean Strickland brings it. Paulo Costa just walks forward. Yeah, it's going to be a good fight. Anyway, let's get into it. All right, so Sean Strickland, of course, just defeated Jack Hermanson. A lot of fans didn't like the fight. They found it boring. I read tons of comments along those lines. I feel like Strickland, he did what he needed to do to win. Um, Jack Hermanson's a good fighter. He's he's dangerous. He can finish you on the ground. Um, his striking is coming along. And yeah, it wasn't the most entertaining fight. You know, on some levels, I feel like Strickland could have went for it. But a win is a win. Now, with that win, Sean Strickland has propelled himself higher up the ladder. Uh, naturally, he's going to fight higher ranked opponents. Paulo Costa, I guess, is next in line for him. Before I get into the fight itself and drop my thoughts, uh, let's go over the stats. All right, Sean Strickland, 30 years old, 6 foot 1. He has a 76 inch reach. He has a brown belt in BJJ. His mixed martial arts record is 25 wins, 3 losses. Sean Strickland's a gamer. The guy comes forward, puts a lot of pressure on you. I really like his boxing. I think he has great hands for mixed martial arts. He's got good defensive wrestling. And he's a tough son of a gun. All right, Paulo Costa, a.k.a. Bohachina. Six feet tall, 72 inch reach. He is a black belt in BJJ. Mixed martial arts record, 13 wins, two losses. 11 wins via KOTKO. That's a pretty crazy stoppage from strikes ratio. Costa's a juggernaut. The guy just comes forward. I think he has decent knockout power. Um, although he doesn't stop guys with like one shot, not to my recollection. It's an accumulation of shots. He TKOs guys a lot. But regardless, that's power. I mean, his ratio, his stoppage ratio speaks for itself. All right, getting into the fight. Um, let's just get into it. So who has the better hands, the better boxing? For me, it's going to be Sean Strickland. That doesn't necessarily mean he has better striking overall. Costa brings some pretty interesting things to the table. He has awesome body kicks. Um, he throws high kicks. You don't see a lot of spinning attacks from Paulo Costa, but he mixes things up pretty well on the feet. I also like his body work. Nasty, nasty left hook to the body. And if he manages to hurt you with your back against the cage, you're in trouble. That's kind of like Paulo Costa's game. Walk you down, corner you, unload on you. Sean Strickland is a way more slicker striker, kind of takes his time. He's very methodical. Sean Strickland, I think, has great defense. Very, very comfortable on the feet. I think that's in part due to um, all of his like hard sparring. At this point, um, Sean Strickland is notorious for the hard sparring. I know a lot of guys don't do it, but it certainly has its place and it's beneficial for certain things. For one, you stay calm under pressure and when you're under fire, because it's something that you've done in the gym a million times. The damage isn't good, but it's useful in that sense. Ground wise, um, Paulo Costa technically should be a better submission grappler. He's a black belt in BJJ. But belt rankings don't mean everything. You have guys at a black belt level that have a blue belt officially. I don't necessarily think Sean Strickland's going to have an issue on the mat. Um, I really don't even think this fight is going to hit the mat. I think for the most part, these guys are going to bang it out and it's going to be a striking affair. Sean Strickland, I think, is difficult to take down. I don't even think Paulo Costa could get him to the mat if he wanted to, unless if he's rocked. So if it's a stand and bang fight, if these guys are just going to throw leather a striking contest, I might have to give it to the bigger, stronger guy. And the guy that kind of throws a little bit more on the feet, mixes it up, that's Paulo Costa. I still think Paulo Costa is a beast. I can't see many people going toe-to-toe -to -toe with Marvin Vittori like that. Paulo Costa did. Arguably won that fight. So yeah, I could see Paulo Costa via decision over Sean Strickland. Both of these guys are super tough. I don't necessarily see a stoppage. But you never know. All it takes is one shot, landed in the right place. Final pick, though, I'm going to go Paulo Costa via decision. I think he's going to walk Sean Strickland down. I think he's going to take his best shots. I think Strickland is going to be tentative. 
try to fight smart, but I think he's going to get beat to the punch. Paul Acosta is really aggressive, and that may actually win the fight for him. I don't know. It's a close fight. I mean, for me, it's like 55-45 Paul Acosta. But anyway, guys, those are my thoughts on this fight. Let me know in the comment section. Who do you think takes it? What do you think about the matchup? And if you enjoyed the video and this is your first time at the channel, hit that subscribe button, like, and share as it helps the channel grow. Really appreciate that, guys. You guys are awesome. Until the next segment, you all take care. When the fight takes place, as usual, we'll come back and talk about it. Thanks, guys. Have a good one.